Hi, this is uh, St. Jerome of Crypto Experiences bringing you yet another Crypto Experience. Uh, today is January the 6th, 2024. Have you messed up on writing 2023 when it's 2024? So far, I haven't done that. Today's today's podcast is going to be about physical crypto coins. So they are actual coin, and let's stretch the definition far enough to even like a credit card size thing that are physical. You can touch them, kind of knock on them. Oh, someone's there. You can knock on them and uh, yeah, they have a, a sticker or some way to actually hold the public key uh, so that it's addressable and you can scan it maybe with an app or something or sc just scan it like you would any public key. And then they have some way to hide the private key. Um, come out front. I am a ballet ambassador and a ballet affiliate. I've been doing that for a few years. Uh, I think it's a great little wallet. And they got a new thing coming out, kind of based on the history of a certain man. So who is that man and what is his history? Well, here is that man to the left of the screen, Bobby C. Lee. He uh, is the CEO now of Ballet Wallets, but he has a history and it's a good history. Uh, I'm going to read a little bit of that history. It goes back to this company, BTCC. So let me read a little bit about Bobby C. Lee and history. Now, I wonder how come he called himself Bobby C. Lee and emphasizes C. Well, I, I guess I, with a little research, I found out there's a comedian named Bobby Lee. Did not realize that. Not the same guy. Bobby C. Lee here is the brother of Charlie Lee, uh, the inventor of Litecoin. Now, let me read a little bit uh, here. So BTCC was founded in June 2011. BTCC now stands for uh, BTC and Crypto, as stated on the company's official website, although it used to be mean BTC China. So same initials, but it's, it stands for something different now. Before becoming the company's CEO, entrepreneur Bobby C. Lee approached the then two-person company in early 2013 after investing his own money and attracting investors, oversaw the company's rapid expansion and market share growth by the end of the year. The Stanford computer science graduate, whose brother Charlie founded the cryptocurrency Litecoin, previously worked for Yahoo in the United States and as vice president of technology for Walmart China. Two pretty smart guys. And they, wow, you know what they did? They got into Bitcoin really early, so they did very, very well. In November of 2013, BTC China raised $5 million in Series A funding from investors, Lightspeed China Partners and Lightspeed Venture Partners. On 18th of December 2013, BTC China announced it was temporarily suspending the acceptance of Chinese yuan deposits, attributing the decision to government regulations following a December statement from the People's Bank of China. All right, uh, and that's kind of enough there. Uh, let's, let's skip down a little bit. Uh, not talking so much about the past. So I will stop there and pause a second. So as we talked before, BTCC was found in June uh, uh, 2011 and uh, is based in Shanghai. It was the first Bitcoin exchange in that country. Uh, by October 2014, BTCC, like we said, was the world's second Bitcoin exchange. And it remains the longest running crypto exchange in the world. And it was co-founded by the famed Bitcoin entrepreneur, Bobby Lee Seeley, right here behind me. Now, what does Bobby Seeley do now? Well, I believe he sold his interest in uh, BTCC. And now he is the CEO of Ballet uh, Cold Storage Wallets, which are just magnificent. So here is uh, Bobby C. Lee as a kind of a CEO headshot, the, the head of the company. He has a, a book he wrote called The Promise of Bitcoin, which talks about how his family escaped from uh, communist China. Um, and one part of the, I found interesting was that they had gold coins stitched into their clothing, went to Hong Kong, used that to help fund um, their, uh, their business. And then they gained back some, the wealth they had. So uh, both uh, uh, Bobby C. Lee and his brother Charlie, pretty smart guys, very computer savvy. And like I said, got the Bitcoin early. So 
I want to take a look at some of the early editions of the new release that Ballet has that were in the BTCC company that uh, Bobby C. Lee founded. Not founded, sorry, that uh, Bobby C. Lee uh, was CEO of for a while. Now, I've not ever personally seen a, co a coin that was uh, minted and both uh, contained the Bitcoin of the BTCC mint. But I uh, went to scour the internet and drought gathered some pictures of today. So here is a BTCC minted coin, one tenth Bitcoin. I have no idea how old this is. Uh, it seems to me that it's probably kind of new to have only a tenth of a Bitcoin on there. Oh wait, one tenth of Bitcoin? Uh, no, I'm I'm sorry. That's uh, it could be it could be one of the more original ones. But this is what we're talking about. You've got a physical coin. Uh, whatever material you want to make that out of uh, the most recent one is going to be is copper. But uh, I know they made, and I don't know if it was this company, but the most valuable coin in the world is made out of gold and it has uh, Bitcoin on it and quite a bit of Bitcoin. So I think I saw it was like over $10 million or so, but it's the most valuable coin in the world right now. I'm going to show you a series of some of the uh, poker chip ones that did. I think these are pretty cool. These poker chips ha held and hold Bitcoin on them. So if you got that poker chip in 2016 and held on to it, you still got the Bitcoin. And uh, like I said, the public, uh, the private key is uh, underneath those stickers on the back there. So I'm not quite sure how they work. So this is 1,000 bits of bitcoin on a poker chip that's kind of cool and here and here is the 5k poker chip www.btcc.mobi 5000 bits and crypto we trust and let's run up and look at the 25,000 next and here is the 25,000k uh btcc poker chip holder of actual bitcoin i kind of like the coloring on that one I think so far that's my favorite one. And finally, the 100,000K uh, BTC poker chip store of Bitcoin. Colors of black and orange. BTC 100K. Let's take a look, closer look at that. There you go. That's kind of nice looking too. And here's the final one I found on their net, BTCC Mint 2016, the V-Series. Um, denomination, one entire Bitcoin. The metal's titanium. Um, weight looks like 20 grams. Thickness, 3 millimeters. Diameter, 43 millimeters. So there it is. That is a pretty handsome-looking coin in crypto we trust. And it is holding uh, one entire Bitcoin. Bitcoin. I think that's pretty cool. I like that. That seems to be the Lamborghini of the bunch. And here is another one of the coins from looks like 2016. Here's a stack of each one of those folks is five Bitcoins. Not bad. I think Bitcoin price now is going uh, roughly today about 45,000. Uh, so let's see, five times... 40, 200,000, five times five, uh, 25. Wow, that's a, that's a pretty good haul. And this isn't exactly a coin, but it's physical, and it's got 25.54, etc. Bitcoins on them uh, held by that number. Wow. Now you talk about physical uh, representations of Bitcoin. These are, these are fantastic. So why this trip down memory lane? Well, since then, Bobby Seeley founded the uh, company of Ballet, Ballet Wallets, around 2019, taking off. So, and there, uh, this is what a Ballet Wallet consists of. The same idea as the coins. These are credit card size, and um, you can get them in steel or gold, gold-plated. So the steel ones are roughly $35, and the gold-plated ones are roughly $99 or so. So how does this work? As I explained in other videos, the number three there is a sticker. It goes on top of the yellow sticker, and that is your public address. And what covers up completely the private 
key underneath there. And you can like, then with the app, you can put part, the private key into the app. And then you scratch off the passphrase and add that. And voila, whatever you have stored on the card, you can send. So I like use it kind of like a bank uh, until you need to send it. Um, I've made a couple ordinals now using it and it sends like a charm. Um, they make these cards in different coins being the main coin. The main coin, of course, is Bitcoin, but they've also made them in Dogecoin and here's XRP and Litecoin. Uh, but even though they emphasize maybe a coin, at each wallet has over 100 coins that you can put on it. So as if, you, if you're if you up on crypto, you know crypto is just a number. So these will generate the different numbers into uh and you can store them then. Well, they're, they're stored on by the number on the card, and the app will read that for you. Now, if something were to happen to the company, uh, this is uh, this app is out there uh, for free, and you can grab it for free, and even if the company doesn't exist, and you can still send them. And you will still have your private keys. So why am I excited? Because I really like those physical bitcoin coins and uh like the the bars but so here is the latest now not by btcc but ballet there is a copper coin and it is one milli bitcoin point zero zero one bitcoin and ballet at 2024 and its backside is where you store the uh the keys and here is the backside of said coin so there you have your public key and you pull back the sticker and voila, you're going to have the private key. I think that's pretty cool. So just think of gifting these to people. Ballet has already had a gift card and those were fun. And I played with those quite a bit in different denominations. But this now, well, they said, is that a Bitcoin? Because I'm at the coin show selling. I got plastic pirate coins on my table. They say, is that a Bitcoin? I said, yeah, if it was, I'd be rich because I had I don't know, 50, 60 plastic pirate coins but now i have a physical representation it's got weight to it it's heavy it's a coin and yeah there really is bitcoin stored on this coin not in the coin so as i say i don't have one yet but we get get a couple pretty soon this is the official bitcoin and this is it comes package it's got the ballet.com down there it's uh, a coin uh, a cardboard coin holder uh, and it is what it says, 0 0.001 BTC is included. That is so cool. And with a little searching, I found this. I did not realize they were out already. It looks like the company was sending uh, one of these to different people to gift them during Christmas. So uh, people got this from Ballet, Bright the Holidays with Bitcoin, and they included the, an actual one of the, this product. They're a one troy ounce copper with 0 0.001 Bitcoin on the back side in the sticker. So as I'm kind of coming near a conclusion here, well, what a clever way to stack, huh? Uh, us people who stack precious metals actually stack them. Well, now you can physically stack your Bitcoin as seen by a pile of these copper coins here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 of them. And then the back side of each one are the private key and public key. Well, I found this picture also. I, I knew this product was out there, but I haven't uh, I haven't physically seen one. But uh, this was ballet actually mined blocks of Bitcoin. And so here is a block they mined in 2020, and it has 25 Bitcoins on it. No, I'm sorry, 12 Bitcoins on it. Still a pretty darn good deal. So. Wow, that one block. So I just find cryptocurrency so fascinating. Uh, Bitcoin, the granddaddy of them all. Just to think you can have every Bitcoin ever printed on one ballet wallet. Wow. And that's true for all these cryptocurrencies. Um, I had a lot of fun playing around uh, putting ordinals on the uh, Bitcoin chain. And I think I'm going to do that again. Uh, my granddaughter recently had a, uh, had a birthday and I thought I'd put a birthday picture on it on an ordinal and then give her a ballet wallet with the ordinal on it. So, well, as I conclude, uh, I want to remind everybody, I have a uh, uh, 440 subscriber contest. 
I now have 400 subscribers on YouTube. I'm going by the YouTube number. I have subscribers also on uh, BitChute and Rumble. Uh, I thank you for coming and watching. I'm averaging over 500 views in each uh, video now, uh, counting the different formats. I am on uh, YouTube, Bit, uh, BitChute, Rumble, and YouTube. That's Utah Gun Exchange Tube. A free speech zone, uh, as it as it it were. Anyway, so uh, when I get to 440 subscribers, I will give whoever comments first after 440 on YouTube 20,000 satoshis. I've got some Valley gift cards left over, and I will send you one of those if you live in the continental United States. If not, give me your public key, and I will just shoot it to you uh, the magical internet way. But it won't, it won't be a gift card. I'm going to cap this at 50 bucks uh, USD. So if for if Bitcoin were to take off like crazy, uh, I'm only going to give out $50 max of USD. So but that's still, hey, it's for free. Not a bad deal. I have a uh, ballet affiliate discount code down below. Uh, some of you have taken advantage of that already. Uh, thank you very much. I get a little small percentage of that. And uh, you can, can get a ballet wallet. You can get in there and get these new products like uh, the the ballet coin I was showing you today. Uh, Caleb and Brown for uh, transactions is a, is a great way to go to, to buy crypto. Uh, there, there may, you get a stock, I mean, some stock, you get a crypto broker if you invest $2,000. So that's, that's a pretty good chunk, but I mean, uh, there's other people investing millions of dollars. So if you can invest 2000 with Caleb and Brown, you will get your own broker in, it's a permanent 3.5% if you use my code. It's a 30% higher if you don't use my code. And that's permanent once you do it. So that's pretty cool. And I learned recently that you can get on yourself without a broker and invest as little as $500. So that's good. There's not a lot of on-ramps right now. They're closing more and more of them. Uh, I like Caleb and Brown. They, and they're they're very good uh, for trading back and forth. I had my wallet. Ha I had my uh, email hacked about almost two years ago now, and they got me through that. I didn't lose anything. They they immediately shut it down when I when I when I figured it out, and then I had to prove who I was big time. But that's okay. I didn't lose anything. I was really grateful for them. And every broker I've had has been just wonderful to work with. So, uh, let's see. Anything else? I think that's it for now. So if you got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I hope you'll enjoy this new uh, product. When I get it, I'll do an unboxing. Now, I'm getting something that's coming from Ballet that I don't know what it is. They shipped it to me to do an unboxing on. I kind of hope it's this. That would be cool, wouldn't it? So thank you very much. Enjoy your crypto experiences out there. I'll see you soon.